YouTube, it's Miranda, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got my hair to this nice light blonde by myself at home. I actually deleted the first clip to the video on accident and can't retrieve it. So this is future Miranda with my hair already blonde, and it's a rainy day, so my hair is not in any good form. But I wanted to show you guys what I use. I use the Feria um, Absolute Platinum Advanced Lightening System, Extreme Platinum, and I also bought this toner that I'll mention, but I didn't end up using it, you'll see in the video. But I think I'm gonna make a video on this soon, so stay tuned for that. I just used one box of this, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say about it. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into the video. Before I get started, I should give you like a before of my hair. So even though it's dirty, this is what it's looking like. Like I said, so pretty blonde. I'm gonna keep my roots dark because I, I like the grown out look. It's also easy to keep up with, so I'm not gonna be putting it, I might do like a couple that come up a little higher just to like blend it, especially for a ponytail. Like when I pull my hair back like this, um, maybe I'll like blend some in a little bit so that the blonde doesn't start way back here. But for the most part, I'm just gonna keep my root. I'm just gonna section my hair off a little bit and start with this underneath layer. I don't really have like the correct clips for dyeing hair, you know, like the really flat ones. So I just use whatever clips I have. All right, got my gloves on and we're ready to go. And this is the thing, I don't even think about it a whole lot. I just kind of go for it. I take sections and I'm kind of like balayaging. Maybe if you're like a professional and you're watching this, you're like, no, you aren't, but in my head, Yes, I am. I, I usually like to brush it on, but I guess we'll just try it like this first. Like I usually put it in a bowl and then use a brush, but we can, we can try the hands thing. So my idea is that I'm gonna take some pretty, um, pretty big sections like this and just like run it run it up and down with my fingers like this to blend and get the ends pretty saturated. that's what I did for the first section quite a few pieces and I'm just gonna keep doing that in the next one basically I'm taking a piece saturating it and bringing it up like this um, to, to blend it and make sure it doesn't have like a harsh line um, and that's always worked for me in the past so the only time I've ever had trouble bleaching my own hair is when I've done the root and I gave myself hot roots and they were orange and I had to go get these them yeah I had to I had to run to the salon and have cat save my hair. So we're not putting it on the roots. It says you can, but I know that it's possible to do it yourself, but I am not in the mood to ruin my hair and I have somewhere to be in the morning. All right, so I just let down a few more pieces of hair. This is not in any like particular sectioning or anything, not professional by any means, just very much like just letting more pieces down so I can reach them. <laughs> another section we're getting pretty close to the top layer here but we kind of have a lot left I don't know I hope I'm saturating enough they seem pretty saturated the spots that I've done so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it while I'm talking to you another tip that I have is that sometimes I'll pick up a section so say I take a section like this but I don't want it to be solid say I want to have some low lights in there even if it's just the blonde that I currently am just to have some dimension once I wash it out I'll take a couple pieces and hold on to them and then I'll throw some back so I'm kind of like weaving sort of like taking random chunks and leaving the other hairs in the back and then it splits the section almost in half and I leave the other hairs behind and it's not like a perfect science or anything so it doesn't matter 
which ones it usually gives it more of like a natural look so that it looks like it grew out of your head that way versus you just took some bleach and slapped it on your head so now you can see that there's some like i don't know if you can tell but there's some like gaps in between the strands of hair like right here there's a gap and right here and before when i had the whole section it was just a solid chunk of hair so now it'll look more like i have some low lace in between Okay, I'm letting down the last section and I have, I think maybe I won't need to mix up another bottle. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous that I didn't do enough. Um, but the best part about it is that I can always redo it in like a couple weeks or a month or something if I want to add more. So I think for this top section, I'm going to ditch the gloves because I need more control of my hands because I really want to give myself some highlights up here because it's just so, so dark and I don't have enough control with the gloves to do so. I also think I'm going to go in and add some back here a little bit because this section right here is just such a dark block of hair. Start with the money pieces in the very front. So these ones here. I think I'm gonna bring those back up pretty close to the root because I really like how that looks when I have my hair down. And put some on my fingers. Paint this, paint this up. So for the money pieces, I'm just taking it on my finger right up the edge of the very front and then I'll pinch it down to bleach these up higher. And then I'll just take my fingers and run them up and down like I have been with the rest of them so I don't get a harsh line anywhere. If your hands start to tingle, don't do this. Also, I, I rinse them in between like each strand of hair when I'm doing it like this. So for these, I'm going to take some like really thin pieces from up here and just kind of like randomly take them separate from separate sections. So see, I've got these strands of hair and I'm not going to go all the way up to the root, but I'm going to come up higher, like up here so that they are noticeable against the super dark hair that's grown out underneath them and in between them. Like that. And then underneath that, I'm going to take some more like solid sections and just do like the bottom half like I have been. And go like that with my fingers to blend it up so that we don't get a harsh line. That's how I avoid the harsh line is by brushing it up with my fingers. There we go. Okay. So what I mentioned before is like when I put my ponytail up, how dark it is. So I'm just going to grab a few pieces here and do that same thing because I think it's way too dark how my ponytail is looking. Last thing I'm going to do is use the rest of this bleach to make sure that all the pieces are saturated and that I've gotten all the sections I want to. So if I see any spots in here that I feel like I need more bleach, I'm just going to go ahead and add some in. I see kind of most of my ends have bleach, so feeling pretty good about it. I'm surprised that I didn't need more than one box, so we'll just save that for next time. And now I'm just going to let this sit on for probably a good like 40 minutes or so. What time is it? 10 o'clock, I'll probably keep this on until like 10.45. So I'll check back in when it's time to rinse it off. All right, I'm back. I'm kind of out of breath. Breath? <laughs> I'm kind of out of breath because we were just watching Grease on TV and I was dancing along to the songs. Anyway, it's been an hour with this on my hair. It's now 11.01, so it's been an hour. It looks like it's pretty lightened up. I'm feeling like, I don't know. I almost feel like I could leave it for... A couple more minutes but it looks pretty light like if I rinse it now I don't think I will regret it 
Here's the thing though, I feel like I might hold off on the toner and just do this brass, um, anti-brass conditioner and see how I like it. Toner, toner rinse is out really easy, so I'm thinking like maybe I'll save the actual toner for like in a couple weeks when my hair needs a refresh. Um, but we'll decide that after I do this and we'll dry it a little bit and see how it's looking. Alright, fresh out the shower, let's see what we're working with. It was looking pretty good in there. I think it looks pretty good. That's nice and blonde. I could tell in the shower, you know, like when your hair is wet and you can still tell that it's a really pale blonde, that's when you know. Okay, so let me tell you what I use in the shower then. I first washed my hair with my normal shampoo, then I washed it with the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo. I let that sit on for just like two minutes or so, and then I only used the conditioner that came with it. A fairy uh, um, brass whatever conditioner, anti-brass conditioner that came in the box. And this was actually a lot of conditioner. I was very impressed with the amount. Feeling good about this. I'm going to put some stuff in my hair right now. I'll use what I always use. This is the John Frieda Frizzies Daily Nourishment Leave-In. I use this every time I wash my hair. I use this L'Oreal L-Vibe. I actually switch my routine all the time, but these are like products that I always circle through. So these are what I'm on at this moment. Mm, that stuff smells so good. Then this stuff is amazing, the Frizzy Serum Extra Strength. I love how this makes my hair feel. And these are products I always use to keep my hair strong, like no matter when I'm washing my hair, not just after I've bleached it or dyed it. I always use leave-ins when I wash my hair, especially when it's blonde. Especially when it's very blonde because I like to keep it strong and healthy. That's why I'm not too worried when I do things like this. I'm not worried about the integrity of my hair because I treat my hair very well and keep it very strong. Remember, this is just my experience. All of this is how I do it and what works for me. I'm not saying it's going to work for you. I hope it will. I'm sharing my tips and tricks on how I do things. but. Always be very careful with your hair. If you feel like your hair doesn't have the strength to survive bleaching, especially on your own, go to the salon, talk to a professional. Don't take my word for things because this is just what works for me in my experiments. <laughs> yes, hair color come through. We love blonde hair. We love it. We love it. We love it. I am going to use the curler on it for a sec just to like style it a little. And then, um, I'm literally going to bed after this. It's midnight. I think in time I will use the toner on it just to, because it still has a little bit of yellow to it, but not a lot. <laughs> not a lot at all. It's, it's really perfect. I love how it blended. This is why I like go like this when I'm putting on the dye, because it blends it up. So you can see it blends it up towards the root, and then you don't have like a harsh line anywhere. It's like a, you can't see where the blonde starts and stops. It just fades into one another. I'm pretty well obsessed with this. It came out so good, so blonde. Oh, I just love it. I love blonde hair so much. Let me give you the full look. Just so we can get the before and after of the what my hair looked like before, kind of a darker blonde, and now this more pale pastel blonde. I love it so much, and with that, that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you wanna know anything about like what I use, if you have any questions on the technique or whatever, I'll try and answer you to the best of my knowledge. My mom actually has a cosmetology license. She doesn't practice in a salon anymore, but she still does keep up with her license. So I do go to her for my hair questions a lot. So I don't, I don't really just go into this blindly, but um, I'm not afraid to just experiment with my hair. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.